European Political Mentoring Network is a program for women from ethnic minorities who are active in politics at local or national level in different EU countries and who would like to run for the 2014 uh, European elections. And the program is funded by the European Commission and the Open Society Foundation. The beginning of this program is a dream and also an ambition from uh, women from ethnic minorities in different European countries involved in politics who would like to be elected. Et puis il faut interpeller les groupes politiques, aller voir les, avoir les, voir les groupes politiques et dire nous, nous avons une place, nous voulons être dans euh, les listes éligibles. Pourquoi Parce que nous sommes une partie de la société, nous représentons une partie de la société. Moi je sais que quand j'étais élue, beaucoup de jeunes et de, des femmes et aussi des hommes, mais enfin beaucoup de jeunes issus d'immigration se sentaient quelque part représentés par moi. Well, let me tell you that today I'm a very proud and happy president. <laughs> we realized that uh, there were very few uh, women who are active in European politics. In fact, there are only 35% of the current members of the European Parliament. And also, in terms of the numbers of ethnic minorities, there are less than 2% of uh, MEPs who sit in uh, the Parliament in, in Brussels and Strasbourg. Well, it probably starts from childhood, because my father used to talk a lot about politics. Uh, this is a way to change things or to make things happen. Not the only one, but it's a, it's a major one. Uh, I also believe in diversity in politics. So for me, the the main channel to really push this issue forward is through you know political activities. When I was in front of the demonstration, I had a big board, and on the board it says "Wij zijn geen wegwerpplekjes," freely translated as "We are not a throwaway can." When I was eight years old, then it all started, and after that. I always thought everybody had rights, rights to, to get good education, right to have a clean environment, right to be yourself. The political mentoring program gives the opportunity to 10 women who are involved in politics to uh, follow some leadership and capacity building sessions, but also another part of the program consists in uh, shadowing the mentor, who is a current MEP, during her work uh, at the parliament, during committee meetings, for example, or the plenary in Strasbourg. And one of the things I've been discovering being a political advisor in the parliament is this compromise making. I mean, you know it's happening, and so you know as an NGO you're trying to influence it, but how it's happening is uh, a bit unclear to you. And so when you're inside, uh, well, it's not like you can control it, <laughs> but at least you, you understand better how it works and how the dynamics, depending on the files, are different in terms of compromise making. I'm the coordinator of the Women's Networking Hub in Birmingham, which is a network that I founded in 2009. I'm learning and taking so much from the programme. I see it very much as an opportunity for members of our network who I can empower by taking back the information, the knowledge and the learning and imparting it with them. They have been involved in an association which promotes equal opportunities for Danes with minority backgrounds. I felt that our language and our background has been seen as an obstacle and that gave me the drive to prove the opposite, saying that we can be value added to the Danish society. Nobody knows Uzbekistan and Denmark. I'm a girl from a Muslim background and being in a, growing up in a social controlled family it was difficult to always stand by yourself. We need jobs, we need, uh, uh, we need a competitive advantage to the EU and I believe that, I believe that we need to give that, uh, implement that diversity in all um, society levels. Great, thank you. So we had the belief there very strongly at the end and conviction in your voice and a good message. And it's nice that you broke it up with some longer sentences and some, we need jobs, we need recovery. Yeah. People from ethnic background has to engage also in politics. 
And I think it's about equality and social equality. Because I noticed that a lot of people with an ethnic background are unemployed. And I think it's urgent, really urgent issue. Uh, this issue really needs to be dealt with uh, in Belgium. I think it's really, it's a dangerous, you know, uh, not to, to take care about that issue. Uh, I'm a child of a working class family and I might say that I always had a specific sense for social justice or injustice and therefore I started to study law and social science just to understand how does our society function, where are inequalities and why do we have inequalities and I think you need to contribute to change. Uh, I do straightforward negotiation training mostly, but I also work with women specifically because gender is an issue when you talk about negotiation. We often pay attention to when things go wrong, and those are the negotiations we remember when we go, we clash and we leave each other and it was difficult. And, but uh, we ought to remember the ones that go really well, even more, because that's where the, that's where the, the, the golden nuggets are. So this is now my third year of being a city councillor. I started to do work all across Europe relating to equality and diversity and I started thinking about maybe I should put myself forward to be a candidate for the European elections and so I applied and in April the candidates were confirmed and I was confirmed as one of the European candidates for the London region of the UK. My family is not a political family or anything like that so it's not like I come from a history of political background. But it just sparked an interest in me and I just kept deciding that I would pursue this, you know. So, yeah, and that's what I've done ever since. I've been talking to her about how she runs her office, how she chooses her staff, interns that want to work for her, um, the balance, you know, of personal and public life. <laughs> Who is your mentor? Me, uh, Moisa. Moisa. Oh. <laughs> the first lesson of a woman in politics is to have a very good support at home. If you yes. don't have support at home from your family, it's really difficult. I think women should be aware they are part of the society, part of uh, uh, the national society, but also the international society. Decision making is going on in Europe. That's why it's very important to be part. But also, it's very important for women to participate active in politics. And that's why this network, this women's network, is very important. It's easier to stay on your coach and say, oh, I don't agree. When one day you have to say, okay, now it's enough, I go to vote. But now I have to be involved and I have to create something and to bring my ideas. So that's why politics is very important. Our MEPs, member of European Parliament, our national member of Parliament, our senator, have to be close to their citizens and they have to look like their citizens. Uh, I would like to see uh, the different mentees being elected and having the opportunity to develop a career uh, at European level. What is also important, of course, to achieve is to break down barriers with the wider public and their perception uh, on whether a woman from an ethnic minority is a, a potential candidate for elections.